Good morning, students. I am Pramila, your computer teacher. I welcome you back on your computer online class. Hope you all are very excited to learn the new topic. From today onwards, we will start with our next chapter, chapter three, parts of a computer. So let's begin. This is a human body. You can see the parts of the human body. Our body has various parts which work together under instructions from the brain. Can you see? Ears, eyes, head, hands, legs, all this work together. How they will work? From the instructions what they are getting from the brain. brain as we have different parts in our body what all the different parts of our body neck shoulder chest back arm elbow hand finger thumb correct i know you all know the body parts our body has various parts which work together under instructions from the brain similarly a computer also does not work on its own correct because computer is a machine it has many parts that work together to do various tasks okay as we have different parts in our body a computer also has many parts can you see correct all these parts work together to do any work on a computer see there are parts of computer also can you see all these parts we will learn about them one by one what is this this is known as monitor this is your mouse keyboard cpu today we will learn about all these four things okay so let's start with monitor it looks like a television can you see this this is screen is looking like a television see correct it display the work that we do on a computer whatever work we will do on computer over this monitor screen it will display see if i am typing anything it will come if i am watching any cartoon it will show okay then what else will do computer we can also watch educational movies cartoons on a monitor of a computer correct what are those things see you can watch like this what is this tom and jerry your cartoons your spider man chota bheem all this is there na you can watch all this on your monitor screen okay computer ke monitor ke part mein you can see all this okay now let's see other parts of a computer apart from monitor the other parts of a computer are keyboard mouse and cpu cabinet now let's start with cpu 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 full form is central processing unit now what is this hmm guess this is brain a human brain correct a cpu is the brain of a computer and this is this is our cpu cpu is the brain of computer like this is this is human brain this is computer's brain okay getting so this is our cpu and cpu is the brain of a computer it is present inside the cpu box why we will say it's a box see cpu looks like a box only correct it helps a computer to think and work according to the given orders whatever orders you will give to the uh, computer it helps computer to think and work okay now cpu cabinet can you see this this is only your cpu this is cpu cabinet it has a button that we press to switch on the computer you will press this button 
and then your computer will switch on okay it holds cpu stands for central processing unit it is known as the brain of a computer clear this is our cpu cabinet we need to switch on over this okay to switch on our computer clear this is the brain of our computer clear now let's see what is this you must have seen a mobile a casio or a calculator this is our mobile this is casio and this is our calculator do you find anything common in this picture can you see anything common yes yes you all are very right all of them have a keypad with many keys can you see the highlighted one this red portion all these are keys correct so all this highlighted one are the keypad with many keys each key has a different function in the same way a computer too has a keyboard with many keys this is our computer keyboard clear these keys are used to type letters see this is your letter a b c d words see this one is your words numbers you can type numbers like this then special character can you see this these are special characters and this is our keyboard it has many keys on it see can you see all these are keys we press to type text on the computer okay whenever you press any button and that will be appear on your monitor screen okay each key has a mark on it like alphabet a number or a symbol clear see can you see this alphabets are there numbers are there and now see greater than question mark full stop all that you can see your bracket clear this is your keyboard it has various keys on it that are pressed for typing text on a computer each key of the keyboard has a mark on it like an alphabet you can see alphabets are there numbers and symbols can you see that good so this is our keyboard now now next let's see what else we have wow it's a mouse but we are about to learn about this mouse not about this this is our computer mouse a computer mouse looks like a real mouse look at this now this is our computer mouse but computer mouse is having a wire whereas real mouse will have a tail correct so it's looking like real mouse true you all are feeling like that now this is like our real mouse now see it has two buttons on it computer mouse will have two buttons see here one two inside that red one two buttons see in both the black one and white one both the mouse is having two buttons so a computer mouse will have two buttons on it it help us to draw pictures and play games you can draw pictures and play games with the help of computer mouse it is used to point select and click the things on the monitor screen see this arrow button now the moment he is shaking the mouse this arrow button will move i will show you in the next slide see this is the arrow button can you see this arrow this is pointer this pointer will move the moment you move the your mouse it is used to point as well as to select right now see f f i can you see this one now see over here this is selected getting me so this is done with the help of computer mouse That's all for today. Thank you.